For a single random variable uh, with a PDF of x of x, we define the characteristic function as like um, we said, uh, which is something like a Fourier transform of this function e to the power of j omega x dx integral over x from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is a function of, let's say, phi of omega. So this, because this is like Fourier transform, it's not exactly Fourier transform. Fourier transform had a negative sign here. Um, and it represents a distribution. We call it characteristic function. Then in the following chapter, we said, oh, we, for two random variables, we can do it. For two random variables, it becomes fx and y. Okay. So we add a new random variable, um, y. And then instead of x, we have x and y. And then here, instead of having one frequency, then you need omega 1 plus uh, j omega 2y. And then you have to do two integrals, y from minus infinity to plus infinity. And then you have the, uh, the joint characteristic function for x and y, omega 1 and omega 2. So this was an easy generalization. In this chapter, we have a random vector, which means instead of two random variables, we have n of them. So we could easily generalize this one. So characteristic function is for a random vector x1, x2, xn. You have like joint distribution. You have fx1, x2, xn, or sometimes uh, x1, x2, xn. So um, sometimes it denoted by vector, this bold capital vector x. So this is x. And then I put this x. But by this x, I mean a vector of, um, um, this is also capital, but not bold. And then entries of this one. So, um, so I want to define a characteristic function. So what I do, I will have, let's say, x1 times omega 1, x2 times omega 2, and then I have xn times omega n, and then I add them together, okay? And then multiply them by j, e to the power of that. Expected value of these, okay, is the characteristic function phi x of and then I put these omega 1 omega 2 omega n into a vector I denoted by capital omega so uh, omega. so it's kind of like simple and straightforward generalization of what we had for a single or uh, two random variables so characteristic function of a random vector is basically if you have n random variables x1 to xn is just a multivariate function of omega here omega is equal to um, what uh, is is a column vector like that this transpose means that this is a column and for x this so the dot product of these two guys the dot product of these two guys which is like uh, omega transpose x is equal to omega 1 x x1 plus omega n xn. And then you put j times that. Okay, so this is the dot product, which is that. And this is the Cash's function. So it's a kind of like, uh, if, if there would have been a negative sign here, which is not, okay, this would have been n-dimensional Fourier transform of the joint PDF. So there is a one-to-one -one relationship between the characteristic function and the joint PDF fx of, let's say, uh, this is bold and this is not bold. One to one. So characteristic function fully characterizes the distribution. And uh, so let us have an um, example. So if you have a Bernoulli trial, so uh, suppose that you have a set of binary random variables uh, and xi to be 1 or 0 with property p and 1 minus p. In that case, the characteristic function of each random variable is equal to this guy because it's going to be expected value of this guy. Expected value of this one is equal to the value that this can take e to the power of j omega xi is either 1 times probability 1 p plus e to the power j omega xi can be 0 times uh, this one uh, times uh, uh, 1 minus uh, p.
So if you simplify that, you, you quickly get this. So characteristic function of a binary random variable uh, is given by that. But if, if, if they all have, they have, they have uh, same um, distribution like these, uh, so this is probability mass function. If they have the same probability mass function, their characteristic function is also identical. Now, if you if you want to have the joint characteristic function of these guys, so you put x is equal to x1, x2, etc. So then the joint characteristic function, because they are independent, becomes product, and characteristic function of each of them is like this one. So you put them. Remember that this omega is. Uh, omega 1, omega 2, etc. So this becomes equal to this one. So this is the joint characteristic function of these uh, binary sequence. So the, uh, the joint characteristic function of this binary sequence. Now, if, if, if I add these binary sequence together, so I will get a Bernoulli, which is repeated n times, um, then z could be either 0, 1, uh, it takes values of 0, 1, 2, etc. Uh, with probability of um, uh, z equal k, and k could be equal to, let's say, 0, uh, etc. Okay? So k, k can be 0 with, with this product mass function. So obviously, if you want to calculate characteristic function of uh, z of omega is equal to expected value of e to the power j omega z, which is equal to the value that z can take on. So z can take value of 0. So you get e to the power j omega 0 times probability that z equals 0. Probability that z equals 0 is going to be 0, choose n choose 0, and then p to the power 0, q to the power of n minus 0, plus e to the power j omega 1, because z can be 1, and then probability that n chooses 1, p to the power 1, and then q to the power of n, etc. Which is which is going to be this summation, and if you if you use um, um, Hyam polynomial, Hyam polynomial is here, a plus b to the power of n is equal to summation of where k equal one to sorry k from zero to n, and n chooses k, a to the power of k, and b to the power of n minus k. <clears throat> now you can. You can um, compare this one with this expression and then uh, reach to this result. Now, so instead of using this Bernoulli uh, property mass function, PMF of Bernoulli, we could have used this one. So if in this expression, if you replace all omega k's by omega, you will get this expression, which will simplify. So we can obtain this one by replacing omega equal to um, uh, all omega i's, okay? Because what we have is that we have e to the power j omega z, and this z is equal to what? It's the summation. So we have e to the power j omega times x1 plus x2 plus etc plus xn, and this is equal to e to the power j omega x1, e to the power j omega x2, etc. And these guys are independent, and mean of each of them is one of these characteristic functions. So you can, you can see that this is uh, okay. In another example, uh, we can easily find the characteristic. So um, characteristic function is easy to use if you are dealing with a, any linear combination. So uh, the reason is that we have um, e to the power of j, let's say um, uh, omega 1 x1 plus omega 2 x2 plus etc. Okay, so this part, and this is expected value of that, this is your characteristic function. Because here, this is a linear, a linear 
combination and we can we can we can choose different values for omega 1 omega 2 etc so um, using characteristic function uh, when linear combination is involved makes everything simpler for instance if you want to find a characteristic function of a particular linear function a linear combination of your random variable which is expressed by that you can write it a transpose x or x transpose a uh, it is easy because if you write characteristic function of x at omega is equal to this one now this omega itself is omega 1 omega 2 etc omega n so i could i could use omega 1 equal to let's say a1 omega a2 omega etc and then a n omega so if i do that um, uh, phi uh, x of um, omega um, uh, a1 omega a2 omega etc becomes what becomes equal to mean of e to the power j and then uh, the first omega which is a1 omega x1 plus a2 omega x2 etc up to n now here you can factor omega and then what you get is that mean of e to the power of j omega and the remaining part becomes z so basically the characteristic function of z which is phi z of omega can be calculated from the characteristic function of your uh, random vector so basically what i done is that your um, frequency vector is equal to your vector of coefficients a so i, I say a is equal to a1 a2 etc and i set frequency vector become equal to that and then i substitute this here and then i quickly get the characteristic function so by substituting by substituting omega with uh, omega a you were able to calculate that or just by looking at a given direction in in the a space of uh, characteristic function you have it so no competition is needed another example suppose that instead of having one linear combination you have two linear combination i suppose that you want to find the joint distribution of uh, z1 and z2 suppose that z is equal to z1 and let's say z2 and i want to calculate characteristic function of the z uh, for two frequencies so in terms of the characteristic function and this is also easy so you could um you could write the characteristic function the joint characteristic function z1 and z2 which is this guy and now if you replace this z1 here and this z2 here the, again you will see that uh, you can write it in this form so so this guy so this guy if i call this guy as my new omega omega transpose so if i set if I substitute omega by uh, omega 1 a1 and plus omega 2 a2 and a1 is these coefficients the vector of this quotient and a2 is the coefficients of the second one then quickly you get this one not only for two random variables if you have z a vector z any linear transformation any is z is equal to a x then you can calculate um, phi z of um, characteristic function of this one using characteristic function of x okay so this is going to be um, a transpose um, time um, time uh, let's say omega of uh, omega so and then you will have omega so you can you can prove that this is exercise so the, the joint characteristic function of any set of linear combinations is obtained by substituting uh, these linear transformations. So it's kind of just you put you put your uh, omega one, omega two in a vector, and then you will have um, the, the vectors uh, a one and a two um, um, transpose concatenated like that, and then you substitute it to omega, and then you get your uh, distribution and then this omega goes inside here 
gives you the characteristic function of the output set. Um, so this is a more general case. Suppose that you have a random vector inputted to a system and the output y is just a linear transformation a transpose x. In that case, I want to calculate characteristic function of y in terms of characteristic function of x. You remember that such a linear transformation was hard to work with the uh, with a joint distribution and sometimes if the number of outputs inputs and so on different ways can be very complicated so using the um, the notion of characteristic function which is e to the power of this linear combination now you can replace this y because you know that this is just equal to omega transpose y and this y is equal to that I just put it here once you put it here you y is equal a transpose x then this is going to be your new frequency, okay? And then you can get this one. So what you get here is that uh, this equation, phi, characteristic function of the output at frequency omega, is characteristic function of x at a omega. Remember that uh, the number of inputs and output, they may be totally different, and the equation remains always correct. Remember that here you use a transpose, but here you use a so the number of elements here in in this frequency and the number of in these they could be uh, sorry the size of um, uh, length of omega and a omega they are they're different so this is the size of uh, the length of x this is the length of y 